A former rock god was killed. This is your inheritance. I own a recording studio? In our prime, we had a two-year wait list. Now we're lucky enough we can keep the power off. Man, this sucks. We got a whole family of raccoons living in Raccoons? Oh, they stop it! They stop it! No! No! Ah! I for sure have rabies. Again! Whoa! No, R Reggie, right? You, look, you can't leave. I just did. No, man, please stay. We can make this place great again, but we gotta do it together. The only thing working here ever did for me was give me hangovers and herpes. Man, everybody has herpes. Look, man, I sold most of my stuff just for gas money to get here, okay? I, I left a mindless job at O'Hare Airport as a baggage claim attendant, and last weekend, a homeless guy gave me a dollar. This is all I have. Please, just stay. Fine. Come on, follow me. I got something to show you. Yeah! My dad left a videotape? So you, uh, she inherited a studio. That's fucking really cool, man. But you're probably thinking, like, what the fuck, right? So far, surprisingly uh, accurate. There's three things you've got to remember. Number one, all about the music. Okay. Number two, you don't fucking forget to press record, because if you miss press the fucking... Press That's the advice? The press record? Out. Number three? Hey, Reggie, tell him about number three. Well, I have no idea what this asshole is talking about. Well, who's he talking to then? I wasn't there when he filmed this. Like, you know what? You gotta look after yourself, so we got those fucking diamonds hidden real good. And of course, the most important thing you gotta remember... That's the shit. Uh, Wait. Very informative, man. That didn't tell us anything. Lloyd, do not listen to anything this human heroin needle just said. Yeah. God bless his soul. When we created this studio, we had a vision. Yeah. yeah. But now this place is screwed. What was that? The main reason that this place is screwed. It's not another raccoon, is it? Is it another raccoon? Hammer better. You're hammering like a communist. Look, this whole wall is going to come Yo, down. Yo, who the hell are you? Sherman Weekman? Weekman Condos? You probably recognize me from my bus stop ads down at Dundas Square. Nope. I did the commercial with the laser and the llama. Ring a bell. I know you've heard my jingle. You don't have to be a strong man to try weak man. Sorry, pal. And you are? I'm Lloyd Stefflin. Stefflin? Don't tell me you're Mark Stefflin's kid. Yeah. The new owner of the studio, and you two can work this out. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, no, he's not the new owner of the studio. Not unless he has a deed. Be Looks like a deed. Nevertheless, all this does is buy you some time. This place will belong to me by the end of the month. Why don't you just go get your own recording studio? I don't want a recording studio. I want to turn this place into a really cool, not mainstream cool, hipster condos with shallow pools and a bunch of ball lounge. Ugh, sounds like a real douche den. Well, it's not. Unless you consider a speakeasy that's only accessible via password inside the condo a douche den. I do. Well, it's not! Yeah, it is. It's a douche den and so are you. Look, you can't just walk into somebody's place and take over their building, pal. Oh, yeah? Why don't you go ask the old lady in the diner next door if I can just march on in and take a building over. <laughs> what diner next door? Exactly! Oh, I know what kind of guy you are. You're one of those corporate cocksuckers who comes into town and shuts down all the little guys. Yeah? Well, you're a dirty hippie! I am not a hippie! You never heard of rap. Oh, you don't want me to rap! You're right, I want you to rap. Yeah, well, I'm feeling great!
the system We won't be trapped in this prison So quit meowing back cats Such a trap up and listen Sam the man Ugh. Oh, that hurt my voice I'd go to Walmart and get a lozenge <laughs> Alright, Reggie, this is it Day one of our epic comeback <laughs> You're new Are you here to record? Ew, no this place smells how cargo shorts look. Lloyd, meet Presley. Apparently Mark hired her as our intern before he died. Really? Why would I make that up? He had this habit of making major decisions for our studio without letting anybody know. Well, perfect. We get a free receptionist. Intern, you pay me in grades. Well, I can afford that. You get a B just for being here. <laughs> That's a good grade, congrats. You're up early. It's 11.30, Lloyd. I have been recording since 7. What self-respecting musician is up at 7 in the morning? Only the highest grossing Canadian act to record here in two years. <laughs> this is Poutine on the Ritz. They're recording a song welcoming the Syrian refugees. We saw a Syria's at war. And other countries closed their doors. Come here to escape your trouble. And learn to love the double-double. Oh my god, haven't they suffered enough? Look, man. We gotta stop recording weird shit like this. This is our one chance to turn this place around. I, we need real acts. Lloyd, that's a lot easier said than done. Remember what Ma or Dad, Mark Dad said? It was like, mumble, 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 coke, coke, coke. The music is the important thing. Heroin, coke, coke. But that music part was right. Well, I'm on board with that. You bring him in, I'll make him sound good. Okay. I tried to stop him. Stop who? <laughs> Yo, yo, yo! What the hell is this? Who the hell am I? Yeah. Hobie Stefan. I'm your new employer. I own this studio. Bam! Every studio. Every studio.